Top 5 Tour, helping you find the best. If you do visit the Cadrona Valley, don't think that you have to return to uh, Wanaka or Queenstown. You can actually stay here. And I'm currently with Anne from Wairau Homestead. And for a start, why did you decide to get into running an accommodation place? Well, mainly through Blythe, my husband. Um, he's been an ex-hotelier, restaurateur, owner of um, um, catering companies, etc., etc. So, came from a long history of hospitality, and I've worked um, in the tourism industry in particular over a number of years. So, it seemed to us to be a natural fit. So, you brought over all those skills to the table. Um, yes, I yeah, I think so. And one of the other reasons too is that my mother came from this area, and uh, we always wanted to move back. So, when we found the homestead and seemed like the perfect location and um, alongside that uh, background in hospitality it seemed to be the natural thing to do. Yeah. Now you are on 10 acres here so yes. for people who are visiting there is a chance to walk around and you do very much feel as though it's a secluded, you know, I mean, the valley is beautiful by itself but you have got some beautiful grounds. We have got beautiful grounds and we've got, as you will have noticed, a streamlined boundary out there and. 100 year trees, 90, 100 year old trees, um, best kept secret, but we've actually got a curling pond up the drive right. and um, you, uh, the children can go ice skating there in winter and we've got an orchard and it, it is a beautiful setting for it sure. Is, yeah. Yes. You've also got a pool and spa, which we, for people who are here for skiing. That's exactly right. That hot, that hot tub gets a lot of use in winter time. That's for sure. Yeah. Yes. And um, as you mentioned, Bly has uh, he's worked as a chef. He has. And um, you have the chef's table. Yes, we do. So we offer we do um, this as a bed and breakfast venue, but we offer our dinners on request. So we serve a lovely three course dinner and. Um, Blythe's um, you know, a trained chef and has been for um, probably 40 years since he first trained. Yeah. So he had a lot of experience. Yeah. And what do you normally serve? Like, Do you, do you serve like local produce? We do indeed. Like in summer we try to um, go if we've got white bait available, obviously a New Zealand delicacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then for um, in winter we might do a, a soup or broth of, you know, of some, some description. Then for main course it's either fish, venison, Lamb, obviously, New Zealand favourite, yeah, yeah. um, beef, etc., and um, yeah, and a lovely dessert. And the local wine. And local wine. Yeah. Cadrona Pinot Noir, we pour a wee bit of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. You've got three rooms. We have. Um, and they're all, they can all be separate, so there is also that aspect of a social gathering. Do, uh, do people actually share a meal together? Yes, they do. They yeah. do. And in winter, we can cater for families. Yeah. Um, extended families especially, we have a lot of Australian people here in winter. Yeah. Um, the summer and some are more of an international Europeans, Americans, etc. Um, and, and, and local people. Yeah. So yes, so you can either be part of a bigger group, yeah, yeah. a combined so group if you want so to be. So hire out the whole or, th three or, rooms. Exactly, or, or hire or, it out. Yes. Or couples. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, fantastic. Mm, yes. And what do people say about staying here? Um, because I, I did, I will say that I had a look online, mm -hmm. and one of the things that I found interesting is what the key words were Anne and Blythe. Mm -hmm. You know that you, your names are mentioned, so that to me says there is a lot of personal service involved. I think there is. I think probably because we've been in the industry either directly or indirectly for a number of years, is that we try to not, um, you know. Um, interrupt with the guests but yeah. just to have the right level of service and hospitality yeah. so if they want to engage that's fine we're happy to do that and if they'd rather have their own privacy and left to their own devices and I guess it's something that just comes with age as you're able to to, to measure, that. measure yeah. where that is yes yeah. and what's some of the feedback you've been getting because you do have return customers too don't you some people we, come back every year and yeah yes we do and we've been um had been a top rated accommodation a property in uh, wanaka for a number of years yeah. now and we have a good number of uh, return visits in fact in the last two weeks we've had people that have stayed here in the last six months and have returned some of them from europe oh fantastic yes. mm. yeah. So as I mentioned before, if you are visiting the Cadrona Valley, don't think that you have to return to Wanaka or Queenstown. You can stay in the valley. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Mark. Eat, drink, sleep, do, shop. We handpick the best of each location. 
Top 5 Tour, helping you find the best.